Hello, welcome again to another demo for the Crafty Hands blog. I'm going to try and be really quick this time so you don't get my high squeaky voice. What I've got is I've got a sneak peek of something that's coming up in the next couple of months. And these are the signature collections. Um, there's a variety of different colours. These are the two that I chose. Now I'm not certain which set I'm going to use. But basically they're um, A6 size, pre-patterned, splotched, whatever you want to call it, uh, cards in a variety of different colours. We've got Sanguine, Turmeric, Olive, Damson, Trafalgar and Rosette. And then in this set we've got Coffee Cake, Sand, a Smoke Grey, Slate Grey and Black. So that's what's going to form the base of my card okay I know you're all swearing at me right I know but these are the cards that I do for the neighbors so if I do them now then the really special ones like family and really close friends and stuff like that I've got the decks clear to do it so that's basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a card a Christmas card I know I'm swearing right but one a month, two a month, and that lot's done. I don't have to worry about those. So I've got an A6 card base already pre-scored. I've got the A6 um, colours that I want to use there. I've got a set of stampography stamps. Now, I'm trying to do this so you don't get too much of a glare. These are Ian uh, Campbell's designs. And I must admit, I do adore the Christmas stamps, okay? And this beautiful tree that you can see there is going to turn out absolutely stunning. It really is. Um, so, from the stamp set, I have just roughly removed the tree and this little sentiment here that says the first Noel. I'm just trying to see if you can see that. Um, but there's lots of little bits on this, but this is one of Ian Campbell's designs. I've got some black card which I'm going to stamp on. I've got a very mucky tub of flitter glue. Okay. I've got some fat firm. The two stamps that I've cut. I've got some gold flake. Now in the bottom of my flake I do tend to stick a magnetic a piece of magnetic sheeting because it stops the static so much um, which makes things look a little bit easier. Now I do have some Slim Jims, okay? Don't ask me why, but currently, for some unknown reason, I am using a Cuttlebug B plate. I have no idea why. But on top of this is something that the boys at Crafty Hands sometimes have. And it's basically a removable sticky gel, okay? it's It's got some give in it, okay? It's got a good stick on it, and you just wash it off when it gets too dirty to stick, let it dry and it starts all over again. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to mount my stamps. Okay, it's really quick, it's really easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim up this stamp. But I might not have pressed just enough. The problem is with flitter glue is um, making sure that you're quick when you do all this. that's better. You don't want the flitter glue 
to end up gluing your stamp to your card. So you have to be reasonably quick about this. So, there's my stamped image. This one here is the one I'm going to use. That one might turn out alright. I'm not too certain. No, it won't. Right, but that one will. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause because I need to get this stamp into some water because you don't mess around with the glitter glue without dumping the stamp. Alright, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Right, there's two things with the glitter glue. One, you have to get it off the stamp as soon as possible. And secondly, you also want it time to give it time to sort of go that colour instead of white. Okay, so walking away and leaving it is fine. This will stay tacky for about 24 hours or more. So there's no rush with regard to this, okay? You, you don't have to hurtle around like a hurdless chicken. So... that I take off is not going back into the tub because um, this uh, sponge um, is quite rough and it breaks it up into dust more or less so if I go over like this trying to angle it so it doesn't glare at you. Can you see the design? Very, very pretty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause and I'm going to cut this out because this takes a bit of time. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Here's my finished topper. Okay, good bit of glitter on there. Or shine from it. Now, the question that I've got is I have to choose I like that. I like that on that cover. Okay. So Like I say, these are cards for the neighbours, so for me they have to be reasonably quick and easy. So I'm going to have to mat that, I think, with some black. So I want that there. I want that there. Okay, let me just grab some ribbon. Yeah, that's better. This isn't a bright red, this is sort of more like a burgundy, which I think goes better with this. So I'll put that on there. That on there. Right, I'm getting there with this one now. Okay. I think that what I'll do 
is I'm going to melt this onto black and gold. So that's going on there like that. And then, using this one, I'm going to defloge that, I think. Let's get a couple of decals going on here. I just want to make sure that I've got it straight. Now, it's supposed, this one is supposed to have an extra clip at the top for locking. But it's me and silly fault because somehow it dropped and got broke off. Come on. Oh, thank you. Right. And then this edge. I've noticed I'm actually better if I push it away from me. So, the last one now. Notice nothing is glued yet. I never glue anything until I am happy with the layout. So if I put that there, I'm just trying to compose the card now. That's going on there, that goes there. If I do the end of this ribbon as a knot, and then I'm just thinking. I might add some pearl gems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press pause now and assemble this card to this point so that you've seen it, okay? And then I'll get on with the decoration. Um, okay, I lied. I'm really, 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 really sorry. Um, but I had to put the camera on charge and I got a bit carried away with the playing. So this is the finished card. There's the Christmas tree and the sentiment that I stamped on black. You can see the matting and layering, the ribbon. I changed what I was doing with the ribbon. I've actually just sort of made it stick out beneath a resin flower. And you know how sometimes in your box of sticky bits you end up with all sorts of bits that you don't know where you got them? Well, this was a packet of Create and Craft flourishes which have not ever been used. I couldn't find anything suitable to put them on. But the colour on this goes superbly with the background which is the new one from the crafty hands boys um so i've just sort of added some added some dots around as well just to give it that little bit of glitter a little bit of extra zing um but i do actually like this card i think it's very very pretty um you can get the backgrounds from the crafty hands web shop I believe you can still get the Stampography Christmas tree 
um, which is a lovely little tree and sentiment as you can see they're not too big they go perfectly on an A6 card so that's it from me thanks very much for watching and I hope to catch you on the next one bye